Alrighty, everyone, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We're currently in Rivington, and we are exploring the town and seeing what is uh, going on. We just had an interesting encounter with Orin, if you remember, uh, who is impersonating the blacksmith. So she's a shapeshifter, and it seems like we're going to run into a lot of stuff like that, right? Um, outside of that, we're just going to keep uh, exploring. Let's go down the street here. Let's see what's further into Rivington, shall we? I'm going to my volume a little louder than my headphones here. Or my neck phones, I should say. My neck phones. What's, uh... Did we check this out yet? To the right side? I don't know if we did this. No, we didn't. We come from over there. Anything here? Doesn't look like it. Where does this go? Who are these people? Civilians? Refugees. That's right. Someone's trying to hurt the refugees, right? They're trying to booby trap their... The freaking uh, toys you're trying to give them. It's pretty, mess, pretty messed up. <clears throat> There's the circus. We're done there. So what's up here? There's something new. There's someone talking over there. Let's go to the right first. Oh, God. Oh. What happened here? Why is there blood everywhere? Dead chickens? What happened? What happened to the chickens? There's also another... Oh, this just leads back to where we were. What happened to the chickens? Slarmy. If you're here to fill an empty stomach, look elsewhere. Mm. Folks swarmed what little was odd. Stuff in their pockets. <clears throat> Bloody animals. Huh? Do the neck phones ever irritate the back of my neck? Not really. Take the not really. I'm used to them now. That'll be good for a fire, if nothing else. Find us bloody keepers, I say. We got here first, friend. You're welcome to whatever scraps we leave behind. I don't get it. Who killed all the chickens? Tina Two Thumbs. Back off! I found these apples first. They're trying to steal the apples. They're trying to steal the apples. What happened to these poor chickens? I don't, I don't get it. Someone slaughtered all the chickens and also knocked over an apple cart, right? But there's no plot here. It just happened. Weird. There's a tent down there. But we can't get access to it from here. It looks like you do from another side. Let's see the windmill and everything. What's this? Did I talk to these people? I don't think I did, did I? Giselle Flint Splitter. My sister in law. All law and no sister. Uh, what? Did the Actually got here safely. Towing along my wife, sister, and mother. Or maybe they towed me along, eh? Sure. I don't understand what the hell anyone's talking about right now. But I guess that's it for this area, right? Unless, what's over here? Can we not go all the way over here? Tieflings, Zoru, and Danis. So, you survived. That's more than many of my kin can say. At least you made it. How are you holding up? I guess these are the guys from back at the druid camp, right? It's mainly anger that keeps me going. Ah. <clears throat> Zevlor was supposed to lead us, but he froze when we needed him most. I, I haven't seen him since the massacre on the road, which is lucky for him. We have. We know where he is. Rex <clears throat> died. Bex is dead. I'm alive, but for what? I'm no one without Bex. Zoru is the one who bowed to Bazel back at the refugee camp. Huh? Huh? What? what the? Toad Breath? This guy's name is Toad Breath? 
bust. I ran for days to get someplace safe, and then found out I'm last in line to get in. For same a hobgoblin. As if I could change that. <laughs> As if I could change that. Come on. Now this is where we've already been. No, 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 no. Hail, friend. Fine day, isn't it? Forgive me, you're in no mood to talk about the weather. Your journey here was a hard one, no doubt. Is this your first time in Baldur's Gate? No, I'm Baldurian born and bred. It's good to be home. It's a fine city, isn't it? No better place to hail from. Used to be you'd arrive knowing you had a full belly and a warm bed waiting for you. Not anymore. These days, there's barely enough to go around. <clears throat> Had the refugees on top, and well, folk aren't feeling too generous. Not surprised. Tensions seem high. I didn't come looking for handouts. I take care of myself. I've got ways of making people share. Anything I can do to ease people's burdens. I've been asking myself the same question. I wouldn't be the first to interfere. Some well-to-dos in the city donated enough to see the newcomers right for the time being. Only they didn't bother helping everyone else. Locals going without while strangers feast. It stoked the fire, all right. Huh. Some bold <clears throat> are kicking up a fuss round the front of the barn as we speak. If I wasn't wearing this uniform, <clears throat> I'd walk round there and teach him a lesson they'd never forget. Oh. The people of this city have, have grown selfish. They need reminding what true hardship is. If the refugees have more than they need, it's only fair they give some back. I'm in favor of a re-education. <laughs> you have to take this is political it's very political I don't know what do we do here I think your uniform would be enough to make them quiet down let's try that the flaming fist isn't what it used to be it's grown weak corruptible soft wow it's down to honest citizens like me to stand up for what's right, huh. uniform or no. That lot round the front, they've got it coming to them. Wow. I'm gonna say you're supposed to keep the peace, not stoke fires. <laughs> <clears throat> what peace? If no one steps in, there'll be bodies piled high in the streets before long. Wow. Those refugees have been leeching on our city for too long. Wow. If we don't show them that we mean business, we'll bleed us dry. Wow. We need to march round the front and kill every last one of them. Let's see them eat our food with their guts on the floor. What do you say? They're innocent people. You can't kill them. Both sides need teaching a lesson. Let's kill them all. You're a monster. Let's kill them all. Let's just kill everyone, right? Let's just go through the town slaughtering people left and right. I mean, this is... I don't know how we got here. We went from him asking us about the weather to let's slaughter everyone in town. What is going on in this dialogue here, right? <laughs> what is happening? I'll say they're innocent people. You can't just kill them. Why does it matter? Innocence makes the blood run clearer. Yeah, he's not a guard. Look who it is. Still rolling in the muck, I see. Gortash knows you are coming. Uh. Knows you have the Bone Lord Stone. Do not let him hiss hot air into your worm-weakened brain. You'll need to bleed and carve this city if you want to turn him to grave meat. He shivers at the thought. <laughs> Remember, his throat spits lies, but my blade carves the truth. You will read it on your skin soon enough. So she's not a demon. What is she, right? She's not a demon from hell. We've seen those, but what the hell is she that she's she has these crazy powers? What does she want? Yeah, this is the second time. So basically, any any crazy conversation that we see in this town is her. So we have to understand that when we see more crazy conversations that don't seem to make sense, it's always going to be her. That's two in a row now. Okay. 
I received a five dollar tip. Uh, bol from bol Boulder's Shoulders. Have you ever received a compliment or thought a gay man has been flirting with you? If so, how did it make you feel? Have you ever considered being with another man or have you always been straight? Uh, I was definitely wired to be straight. Like, never once in my life have I ever had an inkling of anything, you know, homosexual. I'm not saying I have anything wrong with that. You know what I mean? But I never have. And, you know, I... I get the feeling it's just a natural thing. Like, I mean, that's my take, and other people disagree with me. I know that, but I feel like you're you're just wired a certain way. You know, we all are born of the same chromosomes, the same hormones, and sometimes you have a one way or the other. And I think that that's just the case. And for me, I was always wired to be 100% completely straight. Like, never, never did I ever look at a guy and be like, "Wow, what an amazingly attractive man." I've never even thought that once. Besides John Stamos. But outside of him, never once. So, yeah. So, no. Has, has a gay guy ever hit on me? You know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe someone did, and I just I would never would have known. Because, again, I'm not wired to think that way. You know what I'm saying? So, maybe, maybe, but I wouldn't know. I wasn't conscious of it. So. <laughs> Stamos doesn't count. He's the exception. Oh, there you go. Stamos is the ultimate exception. All right, got it. That might be worth it. Oh, that's a good dig here. Potion of mind reading and send some pairs to camp and grab some money. Cool. Keep looking around again. Any wild conversations has to be Orin messing with us. She's related to Baal, the god of murder. It is from, it's where she gets murderous intent from. So she's the avatar of the god of murder, and that's why she's always talking about these crazy murderous situations. Okay. Oh, having a picnic? Oh, that's nice. Well, I don't, I kind of don't want to interrupt. They're having a nice picnic together. You don't want to, you know, rain on that parade. Let them have their own private time. That's nice. Uh, go this way. Gur camp. We do nothing. The innocent will suffer just the same. We have no good choices. What's going on here? What are you guys up to? Rust. Frey, thou disk durovna. Frey, thou disk blast. You recognize the funeral rites of the Gur people. Hmm. The same monster hunters you met in the Hag Swamp. Their leader is burning the possessions of those who have fallen. Im Horak Nete. Wait a minute, aren't these the ones hunting down uh, Asterian? And he's standing right there. <laughs> so, <clears throat> the impossible spawn walks among us in the blazing sun. We have been looking for you. All right, Jessica, enjoy, relax. <clears throat> okay. So what do you want with Asterian? The last time your friend came to our camp, he stole our children, our future. When we sent Gandrel after you, we wanted to interrogate you, to discover how to save our children, and then destroy you. Yeah, well, he tried to attack us. But things <clears throat> have changed. You have changed. Oh, wait a minute. Is it true you left your master? That you broke the spell that binds you to him? Uh, well, I, I mean, uh, kind of. <laughs> it's a long story, honestly. Yes, Asterion's free now. Free? Not while his master still <clears throat> lives. But he has, perhaps, earned a second chance. We have tried to save our children once already, oh. attacking Kazadorzar's palace at first light. Even then, it was too well defended. Looks like we're going but vampire hunting. If his own spawn approached, someone he thought he could control, he would throw his doors open and welcome you in. And once inside, uh -huh. you could do what we could not. You could save the children you damned. You don't know Casador like I do. He's merciless. You want me to march into the lion's den and save your children? 
But I promise you, they're already dead. Well, I think we should do this. Let's go. Let's go Castlevania mode, right? Let's go hunt some vampires. Excuse <clears throat> me. Did you not hear anything I just said? They're gone. If our children are truly gone, then we ask for blood. I know you can understand that, Spawn. You owe them revenge. If nothing else, you owe them that. I suppose. <laughs> yes. yes. Revenge. I can. I mean, he wants to kill Casador anyway. So. From me and all my people. If you can do this, we will be in your debt. You have lived a life of violence <clears throat> and sin. You have stolen lives, broken families, and caused immeasurable grief. Doing this will not right those wrongs. <laughs> If you're trying to encourage me, you're failing abysmally. <laughs> but it will be a start. <clears throat> you may still be redeemed. Please go. Time is short, but we will see you again when it is done. Well, there you go. We have a quest to kill Cazador. Probably here, right? All of them are there. Uh, doesn't say. All right. Well, Cazador, I assume, is going to be in Baldur's Gate. <clears throat> As long as we Casador kicked your ass and your party was pretty top tier. Well, how much garlic did you bring? You gotta bring the, the holy water, the crosses, the garlic, <clears throat> silver bullets. What else? You gotta bring all that stuff. Not everyone subscribes to what is mine is yours, it seems. All I wanted to do was open the door. I don't want to steal. I just wanted to see what was inside, you jerk. What an asshole. Alright, anyway. <clears throat> so let's continue to explore. Incorrect. The sword says silver is for werewolves, not vampires. Incorrect. Silver used to be the weakness of vampires in the original lore, and then it was changed for Hollywood to be for werewolves. What is this? Whoa. This locket opens on the picture of a little girl bloated by tears? Lathander to light, Salune to guide, Kalamor to judge, and passage provide. A loot? What is up with this locket? This sounds like this is a locket for a quest, so I'm gonna grab it. Right? It sounds like a quest item. A child's drawing. A child's depiction of a happy sunlit scene. I don't know if we'll need it, but all right. <clears throat> okay. That's Asterion's final character quest in the game, and it's pretty good. Yeah, of course, I want to kill Cazador. Fuck that. We're murdering Dracula. Fuck him. Dracula's going down. We're melting his ass. It may be the last thing we do if he's really that hard, but I'm doing it. I don't care. That'll free all his thralls, right? Go that way. Go this way. I don't know. What's up here? A house? It's like a hobbit house. Huh? Whoa! What is with the earthquakes? That's got to be a plot thing, right? The earthquakes? We got to figure out what, it, what it's all about. Whoa, what's that? Oh, crap. We got to figure out what's going on in this door. You hear this shit? There's crazy shit going on in here. <clears throat> Oh, a hatch. The abandoned windmill. We're going down the hatch. Oh, shit. What's going on down here? Final warning. This is a notice demanding the miller pay off his debt lest his creditors oust him and claim the mill for themselves. A mind flayer. Whoa. Brain starved and sleeping.
What the heck happened? He got turned into a mind flayer. Do we talk to him? <clears throat> maybe we try to control... Uh, maybe we could try to control him with our illithid. Right? Hmm. I better save. Before you lies the unconscious body of a mind flayer, glistening and raw. A newborn. Unattended. How fortunate. It doesn't feel very fortunate. Wake the newborn mind flayer. Attack the creature before it wakes up. I'll say it doesn't feel very fortunate. Oh, but <clears throat> it is. This one has only just transformed. It is weak. Vulnerable. It's potential ripe for harvesting. Go on. Kill it. Absorb its power. Ah. Wake the newborn or attack the creature before it wakes up. If we attack if we wake it, it's gonna attack us, right? Come no closer. You. Oh. You. What are you? <clears throat> what am I sensing? You are like me. Like I was. A vessel yet to transform. Huh. Help me. I am so hungry. Was it you who heard screaming? My vessel. He fooled the transformation. Damn. He found it excoriating. I can still taste his terror. It is delicious, but will not sustain me. We need to feed. We need a brain fresh and frantic to restore our strength. I'll see what I can do. I can fetch you a corpse. I never work for free. Go find your own meal. Even weakened, you're more powerful than anything out there. <laughs> you go eat anyone. <clears throat> I never work for free. I sense you are underdeveloped. <clears throat> Bring me a brain, and I will help you augment yourself. Uh, hmm. I'll persuade. You are correct. I am ready. Oh, he left instantly. He just disappeared. Well, I guess he's gonna go start killing people now. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. I guess I'll have to deal with that. It's not my problem. <clears throat> Oops. No. Well, you know, maybe they won't have a refugee problem for much longer then. He's gonna suck all their brains, you know. All right, well, he's, uh, yeah, he's gone. Oh, well. <laughs> Oops. Gen Genver, Genver Antilles, Spargo Avillier. Let me have a little peace and quiet, won't you? Wow. Can't talk just now, sorry. What the fuck? Well, you guys are friendly. What's going on, X Shooter? Just did a super chase. Says, Hope you were doing well, Phil. Thank you, X Shooter. Uh, yes, I am doing well. Uh, great news day today for gaming. With the uh, Elden Ring DLC being announced, the Elden Ringers are now rejoicing, putting their arms together in a spherical motion atop their heads in, in riling anticipation. So, and other game news today, too. That was actually really good. The Battlefront 1 and 2 remake sounds really awesome. So I, uh, I'm in a good mood as I explore the town and let loose the mind flayers to eat everyone's brains. Do me a favor. 
box my ears in. I can't listen to any more whining about missing letters. What's going on with missing letters? Do not, under any circumstances, employ sword course couriers. Their service is appalling. All right, I'll stay away from Sword Coast Courier. Sounds good. Forgive me, but I must attend to my friend. She's most upset about the post. Welcome back, Don Fanucci. Don Fanucci says he's back from a trip. <clears throat> oh, what's going on here? What's wrong with the well? Use the well. Let's save first. Use the well. What the hell just happened? All of a sudden, we're underground. There's a dead body. A murdered refugee. He doesn't need the gold. Well, who murdered the refugee? There's more murdered refugees down here. Damn. Who's murdering all the refugees? What do you mean the target's too far? That is so close. What on earth are you talking about? That is preposterous. Of course I could jump there. <clears throat> or else I'm stuck here in a dead end. Of course I could jump there. A shovel. <clears throat> It looks like I've leveled up, but not my party. Maybe I'll wait for everyone to level up together. Do it all at once, that way we don't have to do separate ones. All right, Lazelle. It looks like, like this is all blood. you. For some reason, they're not letting me jump here. A cooking pot. There's something over there glowing. Do you see it? There's a glowing mushroom. Ooh. A backpack. Gold, a silver ingot. A Pegasus feather? That sounds rare. I guess I'll take that. Why not grab this glowing mushroom? I don't think there's anything else here. <clears throat> okay. Damn, someone just straight up murdered all the refugees down here. What happened? Last warning. You're sticking your immigrator nose where it don't belong. You've got a brain in your head. You'll st stay in your filthy camp with the other absoluter vagrant scum. Your girl didn't get the memo. You really don't want to know what happened to her. Now scram. Whoa. Well, so long and thanks for all the fish and grapes. That's curious. Ocean of Featherfall. So what is over there? That looks like a door blocked by some kind of a contraption. But how the hell would we open it? I don't know if it's interactable or not. It doesn't look interactable, honestly. Huh. Let's do a quick save. <clears throat> It's definitely a door, but it's blocked. Like, you see, it's like a, there's a, uh, I don't know if we can, can we do anything with this? Can we attack it? No. <laughs> Doesn't do anything. So I guess it's a dead end. Huh. It's weird because it totally looks like you could go through there and there might be a path, but maybe not. There's a rope that's going over there. See that? It goes to there? 
but I don't think we can get over there. A blood-filled bowl? Ew. Someone used the bowl to store a disemboweled frog but bathing in its own blood and intestines. Do you think there's a way to shoot that rope? Oh, look! Shoot the winch! Show no mercy. That might be worth it. Oh, ho, ho, cool! <clears throat> All right. Well, that's interesting, but where's this gonna come out? And my party can't follow me. Because they can't jump like Lazel and Shadowheart can. We're, we're separated. I don't know where this is going to go. A sunlit cave mouth? Oh, where's this go? Alright, well, I guess we're going to save and try to figure this out. Alright, let me save. So, oh, the whole party came to me. <clears throat> really? That happens? I didn't know that. I did not know the whole party comes to you like that. Oh, cool. So is this another way to get through? Because remember, they said that there's a gate and you have to pay a lot of money to get through the gate, but we had a pass from another quest. Would this have been a back way to do it? So you don't even have to bother with the gate. Maybe that's what that was, a secret way to sneak through. Looks like we can go up here. <clears throat> kind of feels like... <clears throat> That's what it kind of feels like to me. Another dead refugee. Oh, God. How many of them were killed? Are there even more down here? This is sad. Who murdered all the refugees? Whoa, look at all these boats. There's a ton of boats going by. <clears throat> Look. Nice. Wait a minute. Those boats are poorly rendered. And they're empty. You can see there's water in the boat. Look. Look at the boat. You can see there's water in the bottom of the boat. Look. So they're just for scenery. <clears throat> they're not real boats. They're not, you're not actually supposed to look close at them at all. Ah. <clears throat> okay. Can we go down here and check this out? Can we? No, I want to go down. I want to see what's down on the beach. Let's go for a walk on the beach. Yeah, so basically they're they're just for scenery. You're not supposed to look that close. Backpack. Oh, oh, okay. Maybe we we'll find some good stuff down here. <laughs> Arrow of Acid. Gold. School of Glyph of Warning. Oh, cool. Ew, jelly slime. Ew, it's disgusting. Who would want that? <laughs> right? <clears throat> Rocky has tipped me a dollar and says, Happy Wednesday. Thank you to Rocky for a dollar tip. Appreciate that. Rocky, you may have gotten banned from chat the other day. Did you not say something in Arabic randomly in the chat? And I think people were like, why did he do that? And then you got banned for it. Because I don't think you can chat right now. No one can see your messages. But why did you say something in Arabic in the chat? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you freaked people out, man. <clears throat> oh! I'm curious. Potion of healing, thieves tools for a stare in, and a scroll of speak with the dead, which I'll probably sell. All right, I guess we'll keep walking along the beach. We could have gone back over there too. You know, I think this is gonna take us to the next part, actually. <clears throat> yeah, because right now, Rocky, I don't see you in the chat. I think you're still banned. I don't know if you were aware of that or not. Um, but I don't know what you said or what what triggered anything. But I'm pretty sure a moderator took you out after you said it. 
And I was like, what is this in Arabic? And then they, I guess someone said, yeah, it's not a good thing or something. I was like, oh. So this is how we get to the next part. But where is it? Is it above us on the bridge? I think it might be above us. Because I don't see a way to get up there. Right? Huh. Pendant? What's going on here? Ah! There's a cave. So we need to break... Well, can we beat these rocks up? <laughs> Is it working? Zero. Oh, waiting. I crave blood. How do we damage this rock? So we have a cave to investigate. I guess we will. Let's see what's in this cave. Can't give up now. <clears throat> Okay. A makeshift torch? Where are we? We're in another weird underground cave. Let's save again. Jeez. We're finding a lot on this map, right? There's a lot going on. Mm. Yes, prisoner. We talked about that. Someone says that there's a rumor there could be a Bloodborne remake coming. Interesting. Oh shit, there's people in here. Lumpen Six, Benner Flum Plum, and Lurlin Dust Clotter. I guess we're fighting these two. Wait, here's someone else. Rudd. <clears throat> Are there more? This looks like a bloody cave. They just murdered people. So, okay. I guess we'll fight them. idea what we're doing, but hey, let's fuck him up. Why not? Kicking that ass. You can only walk up to here. Right here. That's the, the maximum distance. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> hmm. I don't think I'm gonna waste Sunbeam. You know I can put the Guardian up there? Right? Can I throw a Guardian up there? No! Ah! Oh, wait, let me walk up. What if I walk all the way up? On my way. Nice! I put the Guardian right between them. He'll stand right there, and then they have, they have to deal with him, right? Let's try it. Deal with that. Ha-ha! <laughs> Alright, that's interesting. I haven't even done that yet. And then let's get a spirit sword up here to fight this guy. So she's just the master of summoning a bunch of shit and tossing it out there. That's pretty cool, actually. Oh, 
Oh, you dick! Oh, man! You son of a bitch! Where am I? Where am I? I'm dead? He instantly killed me. He knocked me off the ledge and I flew so far, I instantly died. Wow. You fucking piece of shit. <laughs> wow. What an ass... That's amazingly. Amazing asshole. Wow. I guess I'm gonna have to revive myself after the fight ends. You fucking piece of... Wow. My path be true. So she can't reach. I either have to dash to get extra movement, right? Or I could go for ranged attacks. I guess I could go for ranged attacks, right? How do you miss point blank? Really? How do you miss? Well. <clears throat> Wait, I did precision footwork by accident, didn't I? No, I didn't. Okay, I wanted that one. I did the right move. Okay. <clears throat> We get another extra hit. And take it! Nice! Leveled up with that kill. So good, man. So good. Alright. I made him pay for killing Dark Scale Phil. That's exactly what I did. Well, now this guy's worthless. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> nice camera. Nice camera angle. Muzz, I'm about to fuck you up, dude. I'm using the wrong attack. I wanted standard melee attack. Here you go. Wait, it didn't show the animation. What happened? Wait a minute. Muzz is a... These are doppelgangers. Oh, it's a it's a doppelganger fight. I didn't even understand that. What should I do? Come over here. Walk into my guardians. Oh, come on. You were so close to walking to my guardians. <clears throat> I'm going to assume there's probably going to be more, right? We're probably not done. So this really stinks. They instantly killed Dark Scale Phil. Now we have a revive spell, correct? We do have a revive spell. What's next? She has it. Revivify. Revivify. I 
I just we had to go down. I didn't even say I wanted to come up here. I never said to come up here. <clears throat> Poor dark scale Phil. Take two. There we go. I need to hold on. So wait. You, do you get all your stuff back when you level up in this game? I always forget that. Because we all leveled up. We're going to hit level, what, is it 10 now? But I don't remember if you actually get uh, all your stuff back when you level up or not. No, you do not. Well, that's fucking bullshit. All right, we're going to level up. But before we do, uh, some contributions to shout out. So first of all, I guess here, let's go into the leveling menu before we do this. What to do? <clears throat> I wonder if you get good stuff at level 10. We're about to find out, right? Level 9 was great. Health increase, a level 5, extra level 5 spell slot, extra sorcery point, new cantrip, new spell. Oh, a new passive. I can't wait to see what the passive is. Okay. So before we do that, it looks like, it looks like Rocky attempted to tip a dollar and PayPal has frozen it for review. That's not me. That's PayPal did it. And what that's a random thing. PayPal will randomly select a contribution and freeze it for review. In this case, when it's frozen for review, I can't see it. So I can't see the message that Rocky attached to their tip. It's not possible. Um, which sucks. And I also can't see Rocky in the chat because I think Rocky got banned. So I can't read Rocky's messages and I can't read their tip message because it got flagged for review. <laughs> Jeez. That's like double bad luck. Rocky, what I will say is this. If you email me at darksidefill at hotmail.com and you, you tell me what's going on, and if you are indeed banned, if you send me your channel URL, I will I can try to unban you during the stream. But that's the best I could do for you. I can't do anything else because I can't even read your tip message to see anything. I don't know what the hell's going on. Now, in the meantime, I received a $20 tip from Untouchable. It says, oh, before you go in the cave, there's another cave up the cliff you might want to check out by the beach. Oh, it's too late. I already went into this cave. So I guess this tip must have come in as I was entering this cave. So thank you for a $20 tip, Untouchable. But uh, now we have hit the Tier 1 tips goal. <clears throat> thank you for that. So let's get the Gunner Glasses going. And then we're going to level everybody up and see what they get at level 10. Hopefully good stuff. I'm curious what this new passive will be that I'm about to get. Didn't you guys say that the final level is level 15? Is that not correct? That's the, the t max level you can get in the game? So we're well on our way there. <clears throat> Alright. Cool. Thank you so much. Dark Gaming said there's a secret near the area where you came in. You may need to do a, you may have to do a per perception check. Okay. All right, let's do some leveling. So, I get a new level, uh, a new cantrip. Oh, what do I want? Take only half damage from bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing attacks. Mage Hand. Poison Spray. Project a puff of noxious gas. That can do anywhere from 3 to 36 damage. The max level's 12? Oh, crap. We only have two more levels to go. Oh, wow. Gain advantage on your next attack roll. Illuminate a 9 meter radius. If the target cannot use reactions. The spell has advantage on creatures with metal armor. Hmm. Minor illusion. Create an illusion that, com that compels nearby creatures to investigate. You can remain hidden while casting the spell. And you can cast it even when silenced. Or Bone Chill. Prevent a target from healing until your next turn. An undead target receives disadvantage on attack rolls. What do you guys think? Any of those? Like, what do you think would be a good cantrip? A bonus cantrip, right? 90s guy says, yeah, because you did so much side content, you're just going to be at level 12 for like half of Act 3. You can't level up anymore. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, we do have Mage... Someone has Mage Hand. I forget who has it. Uh, uh, Lazel has Mage Hand. Yeah, Lazel has it. 
Minor illusion is the most useful of those. Do you think so? Making enemies go investigate something. Yeah, true strike I'm not going to use because that would be for fighters, right? I'm not going to use that. Yeah, minor illusion makes enemies go look, investigate. Because we already have a really good... Uh, we have the Eldritch Blast as his, his damage cantrip. So I don't think that we would probably do anything else. All right, I'll take that. Okay, we got a new level 5 spell. Uh, we were looking at these previously, and one of them I was going to get was Insect Plague. I was also looking at Cloud Kill. Someone had suggested... Um, isn't there like a Ice Wall or something like that? I guess not. I thought someone at one point said Ice Wall. I don't think there is an Ice Wall. It must be something to someone else. What do you guys think for a level 5 spell? Any any uh, suggestions? Dimensional Doer is good. <clears throat> Teleport yourself and up to one adjacent ally to a place that you can see. The ally cannot be larger than medium. <laughs> that wouldn't be bad to be able to teleport wherever you want that you can see. Yeah, that would be pretty good. This one takes concentration, but you have a, a poison cloud you can keep repositioning every turn for 10 turns. That's pretty neat. Put it out, they get poisoned, they move. Move it onto where they are again. Just be a complete dick and keep moving the cloud on them. <coughs> right? <coughs> Blade wall. Blade wall? Uh, what's blade wall? These are level 4. <clears throat> I think it was Wall of Fire you guys were telling me at level 4. Blade Wall? <clears throat> I don't know. There is no Blade Wall that I can see. I might go for Cloud Kill, but I might need to do Dimensional Door. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. You gotta watch out for Friendly Fire with Poison Cloud. Hmm. I'll probably either do Cloud Kill or Dimension Door. Or which do I want? Hmm. The ability to maneuver all over the map and even bring someone with me. Or a, a, a portable or a maneuverable poison cloud. Oh, I don't know. <clears throat> they both sound good. Hmm. And this is level 5. It would be my most powerful spell. Well, this is a level 4. And I could do it more than once. Hmm. I am going to go for Dimensional Door. Okay. So I get a new... Uh, what do you call it? A new... Uh, I can't remember what this is called. A specialization or something? So what do I want to choose? We have some options. We have... <clears throat> careful spell. Allies automatically succeed saving throws against spells that require them. Extended spell. Double the duration of conditions, summons, and surfaces caused by spells. Heightened spell. Targets of spells that require saving throws have disadvantage on their first saving throw. Subtle spell. You can cast spells while silenced. Hmm. People are upset. They said I should have gotten Cloud Kill over Dimensional Door. I didn't need Dimensional Door. So now they're yelling at me to go back and fuck Dimensional Door in its butthole and get Cloud Kill instead. So there you go. Doesn't really matter, does it? <clears throat> uh, that's true. Atomic Sporks, uh, Spork, Atomic Spork says, if you get careful spell, you could then not have to worry about Cloud Kill being dangerous because everyone will just pass their saving throws against it. Sounds like a plan to me. <clears throat> All right. What will she get at level 10? Increased damage. She gets improved combat superiority. The size of your superiority dice increases. Increases. And she gets two bonus passives. Okay. Oh, man. What do we want to get? Two bonus passives. 
Direct an ally to strike the foe. The ally uses a reaction on their next turn to make a weapon attack. Distract, extract, distract your target, giving your allies advantage on their next attack roll against it. Feigning attack, you can use both your action and bonus action on a turn to attack a target with advantage and deal an additional damage. So it's a double damage attack, but it uses both of your actions. Maneuvering attack. Spend a superiority die to make an attack that deals an additional die of damage on hit. Select which friendly character gains half of its movement speed. It will not provoke attacks of opportunity. Mm. Menacing attack. Spend a superiority die to make an attack that deals an additional die of damage and possibly frightens the target. <clears throat> Pushing attack. Spend a superiority die to make an attack that will deal an additional die of damage and possibly push the target back. Could be good for knocking things off ledges, right? Rally. Expend a superiority die to grant an ally eight temporary hit points. Sweeping attack. Swing your weapon in a rapid sweeping arc to attack multiple enemies at once. Roll your superiority die for damage. So this is an area of effect attack. Or trip attack. Spend a superiority die to make an attack that will deal a roll of damage and possibly knock a target prone. <clears throat> uh, I like the idea of an area of effect attack. Troop attack could be good. Pushing attack could be good. They both sound good. One could push back and knock off ledges and things. The other knock them down. They're both really good. It's honestly a tough decision between those two. What do you guys think about fainting attack, which is a double damage attack, but it uses both of your actions? Right? That sounds good, too. I would say fainting attack, pushing attack, trip attack. I want one of the three. But I don't know which I want. They all sound good. Apollo, thank you for 12 months as a member. So I'm just joining. I had some hand surgery. Big ups. Oh, I hope that you feel better. I hope that the hand surgery went successfully. Use both actions and just critical miss. Exactly. They probably would, too. Trip or faint. Not push. Maybe forget sweep. Although I like the idea of sweep, go into a mob and just swing and hit them all. Um, but maybe I should do fainting and trip. <clears throat> do I already have the one that makes enemies less successful at attacking enemies that aren't heard? That's goading, is it not? Yes, correct. It's goading attack. I've been using that all along. Yep. So let's get trip attack for sure. Let's get trip attack. I like the idea of making someone go prone. <clears throat> but I don't know about what else I want. Do I want fainting? Or do I want sweeping? I, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll write off pushing. We'll eliminate pushing. <clears throat> hmm. I'm going to go for sweeping and trip. Sounds good. Now we have so many attacks, it's ridiculous. She's super good now, man. She has a million turns, a million kinds of attacks. So good. <laughs> okay, I don't know what she's going to get. Help, another level 5 spell slot. Divine Intervention? You can cast Divine Intervention to invoke your god's aid. Once used, this can never be used again. Wait, what? Once used, this can never be used again. So use this in the final battle. Use this on the final boss. What does it do? Call upon your deity in your moment of greatest need. Once they interfere, your deity never does so in this manner ever again. But it doesn't say what it does. <laughs> it doesn't say what it does. <clears throat> Save it for the final boss. Right? Right? What will the what will so her god Salune now right or Salune? She abandoned Shar, so now her god Salune again, who was her god before she was converted. So what will Salune do? Come kick kick him in the balls, like kick the final boss right in the nuts. He's like, oh, <laughs> okay. I don't know. That's pretty interesting. I don't know how this is gonna work. Huh. Well, that's cool. 
There's harder fights than the final boss. Oh, yeah. The final boss is a pushover. Why don't... If that's the case, why don't we go to Cazador's castle? And when, since everyone says Cazador's the hardest fight, just fucking summon the god and the god just kicks his ass. You don't have to fight. Just have him fucking whoop his ass. Right? That's what we should do. Fuck it. Just go right to his castle and just fucking steamroll the bitch. <laughs> the god just like snaps his neck. Ugh! Snaps him in two. Fuck you. Dude, that'd be amazing. Alright, let's continue. I'm glad we got this interesting ability, that's for sure. So I got a new cantrip. Gain advantage on intimidation and performance checks. Infuse an object with an aura of light. A flame, produce a flame in your hand that will shed a light in a 9 meter radius and deal fire damage when thrown. Throwing the flame immediately after you conjure it does not cost an action. Extinguishing or throwing it on subsequent turns does. Uh, These are weird. Really, there's a fight even harder than Cazador. You'll know it when you get there. Alright, well we're going to do it. We're eventually going to do it. I want to do all the stuff in the game. So let's do it. And uh, I will summon the god then and just fucking slap him around. Right? <laughs> That'd be amazing. He's the hardest badass in the game. Gotcha. So, hey, brother. Slaps him. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Lifts him up. Sl telekinetic slams him on the ground. All right. Well, I guess we'll find out. Anyway, uh, I would say either light or produce flame. Produce flame sounds interesting because you can use it as like a quick fire damage cantrip. So it kind of sounds good. So I think I might you get produce flame. <clears throat> and then... I guess we don't really need to do anything else because they just said it's just another spell and we already have spells, right? So I think we're good there. Yeah, it's fine. We're good. Great, I got a, a new cantrip and a one-time thing I can only do once in the playthrough. What does Asterion get? So, health, a new spell slot, extra attack, can make an additional free attack after making an, an unarmed or weapon attack. If you gain the extra attack feature from more than one class, they don't add together. Now that I don't understand. Wait, he, he just got Misty Step? Did he seriously? He just earned Misty Step. Cool. Well, that's going to help. But what happens with... Uh... By the way, I don't know what happened to the chat. The chat's been not moving for two minutes. Yeah, my chat crashed. Oh, crap. Oh, just refresh. Here we go. It's a ranger action you normally get at level 5 anyway. Oh. Cool. Uh, <clears throat> the problem with extra attack is that this is only for melee attacks, right? It doesn't count for ranged, and he normally uses ranged, right? Hmm. So, choose a spell. Bark Skin, Dark Vision, Lesser Restoration, Pass Without a Trace, Protection from Poison, Silence, Spiky Growth, Shape a piece of ground into hard spikes, moving is halved, a creature walking on the spikes takes 2 to 8 piercing damage. Animal Friendship, meant a beast not to attack you, Basic Curing, Cure Wounds, right? Ensnaring Strike. Your attack summons thorny vines that will possibly ensnare the target. This uses both actions? Oh, that stinks. If it uses both, it's terrible. It uses both actions. If you give Asterion level 2 fighter, he then gets an action surge. He'll have a third attack. Shit. <laughs> Foggy Cloud. Goodberry. Eat a delicious goodberry. Hail of Thorns. What do you guys think? Enhanced Leap? Which is what... That's what Lazelle has. Lazelle has Enhanced Leap. What do you guys think? Anything that stands out? I'm honestly not too sure what to give him at all of these. Spiky growth. Make it so that when people walk on an area, they're slowed and take damage. Darzak says perhaps silence. <clears throat> Create a soundproof spear. All within it are silenced and immune to thunder damage for 100 turns. But it takes concentration. 
Hmm. Darzak says enhanced leap would be pretty useful in my opinion. Hmm. 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 I don't know. Silence could be good. And I think Spike Growth could be good. And I think Enhanced Leap could be good. They all sound good. So that's that's bad. What's bad is when three things sound good, you can't choose. Right? You just can't choose. I'm going to get Silence. Okay. Now, I need to heal Dark Scale Phil, who's all fucked up. Right? He got instant killed, which is such horse shit. Thank God I got a revive spell. <clears throat> hmm. Let's have Shadow Fart. Oh, excuse me. Let's have Shadow Heart cast a healing ward. Take your heal. I must heal. Take you. And now he's blessed. And now we can do a short rest. Enough time wasted. Cool. Battle awaits. Then we'll save. Then we will split the part, and then we'll continue investigating this cave and see what else is in it. All right, guys. Good stuff so far. Enjoying my my uh exploration, enjoying the combat, and I'll be back with more in just a minute.